Hey everyone, Mike here today with some thoughts here on Terra Nil. This is currently a demo available on Steam. The full game is not out yet. It's, I guess you can say, coming soon. Not quite early access. Uh, so, with that said, let's hop into it. So basically anybody can jump in and give it a go. You know, it is a free demo after all. And I don't believe they have a release date yet. Uh, I checked, last time I checked, the release date was uh, to be determined. So there's still some improvements and stuff that has to be done as well, which we'll see later on. But we'll basically go through and uh, have a go at what the demo has to offer here. So in the bottom left, we've got resources, and the bottom right, we've got our target for what we want to achieve here. Uh, so we got to start by putting some power somewhere, and I'll go ahead and place a couple windmills here. Want to try and try and be a little bit strategic with some of this stuff. They they do give you a bit of a um, bit of a chance, I suppose, of where you can put some of these things at least at first. So the goal here with this game is to basically take this dead planet um, and yeah, give it a functioning ecosystem. So what I'm I'm doing now is I'm basically putting down you know the the base of what we're going to be using in just a bit. So we're putting down these turbines because we need power to start I guess terraforming is maybe not the quite the right word but yeah. This is the next part. Uh so you can see the <laughs> you can see the performance uh, has taken a bit of a hit. Uh, so that's, you know, little things like that uh, that will probably get fixed over time. So as we put down toxin scrubbers, we now have usable ground around it, right? We have fertile soil that we can take advantage of. So one of the things you'll notice is still have a limited amount of resources right we're going down quite a bit but as soon as I take some of that soil and convert it you can see I am bringing my uh, available resources back up in the bottom left there so the goal at this point is to try and <coughs> try and be efficient if possible So there is a limit to how far we can go. There's a limit to how much we can do. And then if I hit R, I can get different patterns here, depending on what makes more sense. So obviously the, the L shape here is a little bit more efficient, but then if I stripe this across, I can get better coverage. So, you know, there's there's different ways to go about it. Uh, ultimately, the fact that this is becoming this is profitable regardless uh, makes this a non-issue. Pull one there. And maybe I'll do. Hmm. Let's give that a go in just a moment here. Yeah, okay. So, our goal here is to have a certain amount of coverage, of green coverage. And so, once we achieve that, we're going to unlock more technology. Uh, I believe 
Oh, I believe because I've already played it, it's it's not like doing the the slow well slow. It's not introducing me to everything uh the same way it would if you you're playing for the first time. So it is allowing me to go through and you know, immediately build everything up. Oh, I missed a little spot. So that's the thing. You don't have to be absolutely perfect. Uh, I was about to screw myself over there and was able to <laughs> not paint myself into a corner. You do have to keep a little bit of attention. You do have one undo as well. So if you spend too much of your final resources, uh, you can undo your last move and, you know, continue that way. Uh, that's kind of what happened the first time if you're not... If I, like I wasn't paying too much attention when I played through and you know I had to go in and undo my last move which you know worked out fine in the end and so yeah we're gonna be able to cover I don't know probably half to two-thirds of the map and I think I think we'll achieve the hundred percent that way but we'll see Put one of those there oh no I can't quite get that perfect but So yeah, I'm not too sure what the like the the future of the game is going to be. Uh, I imagine they're going to be more maybe fixed scenarios. Maybe there's more stuff. I'm not too sure uh, what they intend to do. You know, once once we've they launch the game proper, because um, like this is so far what they have. This is you know, really neat, really interesting, but then if it's just kind of this stuff on repeat, you know, it's not bad at all. Uh, it's just, yeah, if you're doing the same thing over and over, um, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm curious to, to what they're going to do. Uh, cause yeah, I, I've, I've liked, I've liked the demo, I played through it once, and now I'm playing through it a second time here, showing it off. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really curious what they have idea-wise, because uh, unless they have, like, a ton of things you can build, I'm not too sure how likely I would be to spend a lot of time beyond, you know, this, this demo, uh, just because... Yes, this map is different, right? It's a randomly generated map. It's different than one I played through the first time, but I'm fundamentally doing the same thing I did the first time, so that's why I'm, I am curious to see kind of what their vision is for the full game. Okay. Oh, I didn't get higher than 99. Okay. Well, that's fine. So that's the thing. They they kind of, at least for the, the demo, they stage it in such a way that, you know, they want you to achieve certain things. And it's done in such a way that, you know, it introduces you to the game and kind of how, how you're supposed to go about it. Um... And so, yeah, while while the initial objective here is to get a certain percentage of coverage. <coughs> there you go. So, yes, while, while I have repopulated with some 
plant life, uh, they want to increase the biodiversity. <coughs> and so now I have access to various buildings that will increase the biodiversity. So this is where the game starts uh, ramping up a little bit. So some of the things I've not done yet, I've not put in the water. And the calcifier allows me to put these bases there, like the, what the windmills were built on. Uh, but yeah, I, I believe I believe the turbines might just be restricted to the first stage, and so because I've not I've not built any, that's kind of where I'm limited to. Uh, so let's see. So as I go and place this. If you look on the left near that turbine, very left of the screen, what I'm looking for is maximum coverage. So that's maximum coverage there. Oh, actually, I should look lower down. Or, hmm. No, you know what? Let's start with up here. So there's a waterfall. You can see at the bottom corner, there's a green outline, whereas here there's nothing, so let's start by filling that in. And so as I built that, you can see on the bottom right, there's a radar kind of looking thing. Uh, so some of the resources are going, you can see filling in the water is bringing up the humidity. And so there's a certain amount of uh, humidity that I need to achieve. And then the other thing is there's a certain amount of heat as well that you want to achieve. And so it, it's a nice visual way of letting you know, <coughs> you know, what your performance is. Uh, and it gives you a nice prediction. So... I may or may not have enough water, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, you can see the nice thing here, we get more green stuff coming in as well. As we start building up. So this is the closest I can build. Uh, yeah, that fills up everything. And then... There's a water, yeah, there's a waterfall here. Okay, so there's a little bit of water missing at the end here. That's fine. As you can see, we've kind of reached a certain amount of humidity. Uh, we're not quite where we need to be. But we've we've reached the first ring of the target, which is good. So other options we have here is if we want to put some of the um, rock bases, like the windmills are built on, we could put one of these calcifiers, and it'll build those bases along the coast. And we can also do a new riverbed here. Uh, and so we can cut into oh, no, this is another one where the, the performance just tanks for whatever reason. So yeah, I could I could go here and I can just cut out another riverbed if I needed. And as it says, it does poison the ground around it. And I like I I really like the. Uh, the preview video of exactly what happens so you can see more or less what's going on. Alright, so we could build a research center, I suppose. Uh, where we can, because we can put it up here. So it's supposed to reduce the cost of scrubbers, pumps. Uh, I should have built that before. Because you can now see the excavator is a small one. 
the pumps the pumps are the same size obviously the scrubbers uh, the scrubbers are the same size they're cheaper Ah, it makes excavators smaller. So yeah, I, I should I should have built that first. So th that's <laughs> that's something I missed from last time as well. I remember building it. Uh, so yeah, if I wanted to now make a an extra river, you know, I, I'm not losing out on a ton of space. So I could put one here. And I could put one pointing the other way. But I don't think I actually need it, because of the way the river is on this map. Uh, so anyways, you can see on the left, there are the three biomes that we want to hit, or achieve. And so, this uh, hydroponium will build us some wetlands. So, you can't build on high ground. Oh, and I need a calcifier. Yeah. Oh no, that's right. The hydroponium depends on these, um, what are they called? The irrigators. So you need an irrigator that's close enough to the waterfront. And so one of the things that I might run into, oh, and it can't be high ground. So this one's high ground. It's hard to see, but I know it's up on the high ground because I can't build on it. Uh, so one of the things that might happen is I might not have enough wetlands, and so I can build more of these irrigators closer to wetlands and get what I need. Uh, let me see. Numbers going up. And this is all... Oh, there's also this one. This is all I can do for now. So we're going to have to do more work here to try and get the uh, required percentage. So the other two types, we have beehives. So this makes a lot of flowers and stuff. There are trees scattered on the map. And so we turn these trees into fat. And then the final one, and this is the tough one, uh, we need we need to burn some stuff. It'll leave behind ash, and then that allows us to build forests. And so, it's an interesting concept. We're going to be burning all of all of this area up here. Uh, so I gotta gotta water it in first. Yeah, it's it's an interesting concept doing the controlled burns and all that. All right, so we've got that. So we need this solar amplifier. I'm just thinking here if I put yeah if I put this on the high ground don't remember if the fire climbs up or not. So I'll put this on the high ground. I'll do the controlled burn. Oh, why can I not build this? Uh, that's weird. Huh. Uh, is this a high ground issue? Oh, right, 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 right. I need, I need the, uh, the requirements are at the top. So I require these flowers. And then I can build it here. So this is the small overlap. And so I, oh yeah, I would have had to cut a river here probably. 
that fire is going to make its way here and burn all of this as well. And so, yes, the high ground there. Oh, no, it... Whew, okay, I had a corner, it stopped. I might. This might not be enough, and it's okay. We can burn this area as well. Uh, so, yeah, the reason you needed to burn it is to then start building a forest here. Uh, gonna lose resources, but that's fine. Let's try starting from this corner. Ah, oh, that. Yeah, the coverage coverage is non-ideal on some of these, but we want to be efficient. So, even if I lose a bit of resources, it's not too bad. I don't believe I've achieved the percentage, so we'll burn this area as well. So yeah, it's it's a pretty neat game so far. I've I've liked what they've done. There you go. Yeah, I needed the check mark. Um, you know, when, once. You can see on the right there, temperature is going up a little bit. So, you know, it, it's it's a really neat game. Uh, I I appreciate what they're doing. Uh, so now I could also transform all of the use all of these trees to build more of the the uh, beehives there. Finboss flowers. Is that how you pronounce that? Uh, so if ever there was not enough trees, I could take advantage of that. And so that's the nice thing too, is you're not, at least in this case, you're not overriding existing biomes, right? You're adding on top of uh, what's already there. And so you're just transforming the base grasslands into said biome. Now I need a irrigation thing down here somewhere. say about here so then I can get some more wetlands out and I might get hmm yeah that might work. Yeah, this should be enough. There you go. Yeah, this is the tough part now. Uh, I can actually put one here, get a bunch inside. Yeah, perfect. Ah, and so this is the fun part. We got to build an airship with recycled materials, and I've got a bit of weather tech knowledge as well. And so yeah, we've consumed all of these. We've built all these buildings and gone. You know, uh, the necessary biodiversity to kind of kickstart this planet, or at least this region of the planet. And so, the only other thing I want to do is bring, try and bring the um, percentages here in line with what we need. So I gotta try and hit that center point. Once we hit that, you'll see you'll see the magic that happens here. Oh, that I th 
think I might be just slightly off for the heat. Oh yeah, that's smack in the middle. Yeah, we're just slightly off for the heat. Oops. Uh, so I didn't have to build a heat one last time. Interestingly enough. Uh, well, I guess this time we do. And there you go. We've hit the uh, right in the middle of the target. You can hear there there's a little bit of thundering. So we'll let that do its thing. And so because we've achieved the required weather or humidity and temperature, uh, there you go. We now have rain. And so as all of these patches populate, I'm getting a little bit of extra resource. And so yeah, we're going to have full coverage here, which is really, really cool. And so job here is done. Uh, what we need to do now is build the airship as it suggested. So we got to build that somewhere along the river. And we got to build a recycling drone as well. And we have to recycle everything. So all of our buildings that we've built, we've got to shred them all up and basically leave this planet uh, with no traces that we've been around. <laughs> um, so it's a neat concept. I like I like that idea. It's kind of neat. It's kind of different. Um, built that. Let's see how am I going to do this here? Yeah. I'm just going to make sure there's no other buildings in this area at least, so we'll do that. And so the recycler will pull in other recyclers. And then we'll build that. And then finally, this one. And that should be close enough to build a loading dock. Yeah, that should cover everything for this area. And if I remember correctly, a loading dock will... Uh, I think a loading dock actually wipes out buildings. So I didn't necessarily need... Yeah, buildings and silo. So I didn't necessarily need to do uh, that final recycler here. I could have used the loading dock. Dang, that's... Yeah, okay, that's catching it. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so, I am trying to... be a little bit efficient here. Because after all, there is a limited... you have a limited amount of resources, right? course when you recycle stuff uh, you do get that money back so it's not too bad and so yeah we have to recycle everything uh, the nice thing too is like you saw me up up there kind of trying to get a look at uh, what we have uh, so the I was trying to figure out where the waterfall was it's over there um, so the nice thing is, when I played this last time, one of the things they did was highlight. When you were getting close to 100%, they highlighted all the remaining buildings and made it 
pretty easy to see what you had left. Uh, so that'll cover everything here. So no need to do a recycler. I'll need to recycle these though. Yeah. So maybe here. I'm just gonna wait. And so the nice thing here is it's going to rain in a second, in a couple seconds, and that rain means all of these empty spots. You get kind of a second chance just in case you somehow manage to not, <laughs> you know, not make enough money or uh, resources to keep building these things. The reality is that you should be fine at this point in time, um, but yeah, who knows? Maybe, maybe in later, later scenarios, uh, it changes. All right, so let's wrap up back here. So we'll do something like, yeah, something like this, and then. Something like that. And so that should cover those. That covers almost all of that. So yeah, that's that's Terra Nil, I suppose. Seeing as we're approaching the end here, I really like it. I think the game is super interesting. The only problem I have is, well, it's not really a problem, right? It's I'm really curious what they're gonna do next. Uh, I I think I think they've got something super neat. Oh wow, that, that is the last one, isn't it? So yeah, I imagine like the little the little bit of lag I get, the performance, uh, I imagine that's gonna be fixed pretty quickly. Uh, so I don't I don't expect that to be a problem once the full game comes out. But I think it looks great. I love the progression and the way they mix in the music and stuff over time and you get to hear all like the birds chirping and whatnot. You, know, you can clearly see we've got all sorts of little critters running around on screen. We've got fish, frogs in the wetlands, we've got deer running around. And so yeah, the the very end here kind of implies that this is just one continent of this particular planet. Uh, at least from what I've played, from what I've seen here, I can I can kind of see this game going in the direction of, you know, maybe each continent kind of leans towards one thing or another. Maybe they have tougher strategies. You know, you start with a base planet, you gotta clean it up differently. Uh, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how much variety they can make off of this concept. Um, yeah, so far, that was enjoyable. And, hey, if it's the same thing repeated a bunch of times on different levels, I'd still be up to playing that, so... Uh, Definitely interested in seeing what this game does, and like I said, it's not available yet, hence why they want you to wishlist it, because this demo is available, uh, so I would say give this a try, and yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to, to see when this comes out, and, and what they've done.
because um, I'll probably pick it up and have a bunch of fun playing it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Mike here as usual, and I'll see you guys next time.